Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to basically show you how to access a preset and tweak that preset um, and save it as a new one. So the Code Knobs uh, program editor, for those who already own it, know has it comes with a great program menu for importing and saving your sounds. Um, you have an import column, you have a database column, you have an export column. Import is how you import the presets from the hardware. Database is where you save them on your own computer. Export is where you uh, export it back to the hardware. You have the option to add tags to the presets so that when you're searching for them, you can kind of narrow the search um, based on what you're looking for. So um, I'm going to take our simple bass sound that we have. I'm going to use this preset from the hardware. Or maybe I'll try that. And I'm just going to tweak it a bit. So if you want to do this, the best thing to do is to save it to your database first. Um, I'm going to give it a couple quick tags here. It's a bass sound. Um, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Just call it, give it a base tag. So when I import it, it's going to show up in my database with a base tag. Um, I search for it. There it is. So now as I play the sequence, I'm listening to the program as it's accessing it off of my um, my computer as opposed to editing the temporarily the program that's on the actual hardware. So I'm just going to tweak it a little bit and show you how to save it as a new preset. Say I want to darken it up, make it a little more punchy. This is, I can tell this is a split program, so I'm going, or a stack program. So I'm going to put it back to normal so everything I do in layer A is just reflected throughout. Okay, so I've tweaked dual bass. Now I want to save it as a new preset. What I would do is I would come up here to programs and I would, or this program drop down up here, and I would say save to program manager. Um, I'm going to tag it again, rename it and tag it dual bass. Uh, I'm going to call it dual bass punchy. Punchy and dark. Um, so. I'm going to say, just put, again, just a simple base tag on it and say, OK. So going forward, as I search for it, it should be one of my new presets. There it is. So if I go back to the old one, there it is. And here's the edited one. That's simple. Um, the greatest thing about this is that when you close this session, if you close your session down, um, is this is going to remember your preset exactly how it existed. It's like a perfect recall for the hardware. 